Season 50, War number 12, and we are up against DSVG. And this time my team will be Silk, Vox, and Massacre. I will be taking Path 6 in Section 1, Path 6 in Section 2, A Thing, Onslaught, Iron Man Infinity War, as well as a Photon Miniboss, and that will be it for this war and this season as well. I will finally be able to use Massacre for some war fights. The last time has been a quite a while ago, so definitely excited for that one. Starting off here though, we have a Sauron on the spiked armor and combat to show prowess nodes, and I will be taking this fight with Silk. Silk doesn't shut down any of the nodes here, but you don't really need to do that. The damage back from the spiked armor node is next to nothing for some reason, so it's not really a node you need to pay too much mind to. Now essentially I'm just gonna nuke this fight down with just normal silk gameplay, and so long as I don't do anything stupid, the fight should be over without any bigger issues. However, for some reason, I don't play well today, or I didn't play well this war, and I get caught up on a dash pack, and yeah, that's a big chunk of damage for absolutely no reason. Ended up eating the tail end, well, literally, of that heavy attack as well. And I lost about half of my health bar. So, definitely not a way you'd like to start a war. But at the very least I didn't die because of that. But <laughs> that was a pretty stupid way to need to use some potions. It's not really a big issue though, since I do have plenty of potions left at this point in time, and it is the final war, so there's the off-season to stock up with, so it's unfortunate, but these things happen. Then we have a Nick Fury on the critical setup, as well as aggression prowess nodes, and I will be taking this with Massacre. Now, Massacre doesn't shut off anything Nick Fury does, however, he does damage, and that's basically all you need to do to take Nick down. The main thing he has going for him here is just two health bars, and Massacre being the chat that he is, he melts the fight quite quickly, even with these incinerates only. Though to speed things up a bit, I will go for the special two here. Didn't throw it into the block since there was no need to do so, and uh, now I just gotta build up to another special two to finish out the fight, if I even get there before he's already dead. Now one thing that I noticed here is that when Nick Fury removes his own prowesses when he enters his second life, he does get the flourish buffs from the node here, which was pretty interesting. Usually for nodes like these, you don't really interact that way unless your attacker is the one who's removing the effects, but apparently that is how it works. Now the second special 2 I threw I'm not exactly sure why, but I didn't throw it into the block. I either tried and I failed somehow, or I just didn't even attempt it. I'm, I can't tell exactly, but that's not how you're meant to use Massacre Special 2. Then we have a bishop here on the usual placement, the prowess build up unblockable, and superior specials node, and I will be taking this with Silk. As usual with this node, the plan against Bishop is to just push him to his special twos, and then dex those, and if I mess the dex up, well, Silk Soda evade, as usual, it is there to save me. Now, generally speaking, this node is safest done with Silk using the special free rotation, which I think I might be going for here, but before pushing myself to three bars, I go ahead and bait this special two first. So now that I am at uh, three bars myself, the fight is essentially over, and honestly, baiting that special two there was unnecessary. I That's just a waste of time, really. So with the special three, he's already down to about 40%, so I don't even need to finish the full combo into a special. He'll be dead long before that. And yeah, down he goes, less than a minute. Overall, once again, Silk just completely messes up any defender who can be stunned and who doesn't exactly uh, doesn't exactly have anything to counter the special 3 rotation. The main things for that would be I guess stun immunity and purification. Then we have a Doctor Doom on the passively special and power spill up unblockable nodes and I am taking the fight with Silk. Now this placement is weird. 
Doom doesn't really benefit from the nodes here at all, so I really don't know why he was even placed here, but DSVG does tend to have some interesting placements to say the least, or at least they have in the past couple seasons. Now here, honestly using the special 3 here is, the, is a waste of time, a special 2 would have been just fine and the fight would have been done faster, but well, he's not gonna survive this, nothing ever does, so the fight is already over as well. A few seconds faster than the bishop due to not having to uh, dance around and bait a special 2, but still, could have been even faster. Then moving on here, we have a thing on the Event flow, knock down and right back edit mini boss node along with aggression prowess, and I will be taking this fight with Massacre. This is only a 6 star ascended thing, so his health bar or health pool isn't as high as it could be, but still, on the right back edit node, Massacre does get shut down a little bit. Essentially, his incinerates will get purified whenever I knock down the defender, which I will be doing here to remove the protection. And overall, without any debuffs on the opponent, you can't really bypass things protection here with Massacre Special 2. So the easiest way to really deal with this fight would be to just keep knocking him down with some heavy attacks, or in this case the Special 1. And then while he's immune to debuffs, try to land hits or bat hits while the bat is ignited. Every single time the opponent is immune to one of Massacre's incinerates, he deals a burst of energy damage instead. And as you saw, the burst damage there was dealing some nice chunks of damage. Overall, I think that's the easiest and I guess the fastest way to deal with the thing here using Massacre. But it is also possible to go for the special to use, especially if you essentially just ignore protection. Now one thing to note here is that the protection never came back, and that is because I shut it off with Massacre's defensive ability accuracy reduction, which came from the special one, so I believe that's I don't, I'm not exactly sure if that was part of the plan, to be honest, now that I think about it, but that's how it ended up working out anyways. So the disorient of the special one shut off the event flow knockdown protection there. And then we have an onslaught here on the Scared Stiff and Powerfox 2 miniboss node, along with Bubble Shield, and I am taking this fight with Silk. You can probably guess how this fight is gonna go, but just to go over it, Again, I am just gonna be using Silk's special 3 rotation to nuke the fight down, and that's all there really is to it. Uh, generally speaking, I like to bait this guy special once only, but on this Parafocus 2 node, that is gonna cause some issues with the Scared Stiff node, and I will get rooted if I do so, so I'm gonna push into special 2s instead. I can usually take the special 2s just fine, the animation is slightly faster than the special 1, but the root is still there if you are even a little late on punishing it, or if Onslaught doesn't throw it immediately. Then, if I were to fail the decks, well, you guessed it, Silk Soda Evade is always there, ready to save you. So here, I got to my special 3 very painlessly, and now the fight is over, however I will still be eating a ton of damage on the Neuroshocks. That is unavoidable if you're taking the fight with Silk in this way. It's unfortunate, but honestly, a single potion's worth of damage is a whole lot better than needing to dance around with an onslaught on a node like that any longer than you really need to. Then a quick boost change here, and next up we have an Iron Man Infinity War on the uh, power efficiency and missing in action miniboss nodes, and I will be taking the fight with Vox. And to go over it once more, Iron Man Infinity War does have the House of Mirrors defense tactic here, so the auto block and evade will need to be shut down with a tactic attacker or a champion who otherwise can deal with one of those effects. And Vox here is an excellent option. He can shut down auto block as well as miss, which is helpful for the missing in action node here, with both his special 1 and his special 2, one giving the undermine and the other the vigilance. Now for here, or for this one, this fight, the ideal plan would have been to just go for a special 3 immediately and nuke the fight with that, but I did go for the special 1 D chance there which is 
it's not the best way to do the fight, but the regions do quite a bit of work, and at this point I believe another special one with all the corrupted buffs I have currently, and the fight would be over as is, if I can at least get the regions on. I'm having a little bit of trouble here, just dancing around, dealing with the falter, as well as the special spam due to the power efficiency node, but now, with another special one, 34 degens, this guy is already dead, he just doesn't know it yet. So I'm just gonna dance around for a bit, go for a heavy attack here to increase the degen potency a slightly bit more with these tight attacks, which is part of Vox's dupability, and the degens were more than enough to finish out the fight. Now, then we have the final fight of the war, a photon on the Stun Reflection and Polkadot Tower miniboss node, and I am taking this fight with Massacre. To play it safe, I am using an invulnerability boost here, but to be completely honest, it's not needed at all. This is basically just a normal photon, you're not gonna be parrying her anyway, so the Stunning Reflection node does nothing, except increase your damage output, because when you put the node on cooldown, with either an incinerate or a poison, you actually gain increased attack rating as well from the node, so Massacre here, with his incinerates, will hit pretty hard. Now, the game plan here is, instead of going for the special 2s, which is usually what you do with Massacre to nuke down defenders, I'm gonna be using special 1s and trying to play with the incinerates. The special, ru special 1 refreshes any incinerates on the opponent, and, well, any incinerates you inflict on an already incinerated opponent with Massacre gains increased duration. So, there is potential for a special 1 spam strategy, where you can just keep up the incinerates indefinitely, keep stacking the duration and increasing it further, but overall, the idea here is just to melt the fight with the incinerate debuffs themselves. The reason I'm not going for the special 2 is because Photon's first medium attack bypasses Miss, whether or not she is in the pure light form, so trying to use and throw the special 2 into the opponent's block, Photon can then dash in and ignore the miss mechanic that Massacre has on the special 2. So the easiest and simplest way is to just spam the special ones instead. Now, you don't really need any special, special attacks in this fight anyways, but the disorient from the special 1 also helps you shut down any debuffs that Photon might inflict whenever you hit her, so that's also a nice little Nice little thing to have against a Photon, so you wouldn't need to deal with the pure light form quite as often as usual. As for the results, we did end up losing this war 2-3. to three. What a way to end the season, and very well played by the SVG. But that does it for this war and this whole season, and I am finally caught up with the war videos, so I can start doing some other content. Now, as for my personal stats for the season, I ended up with 96 attacker kills and 0 deaths.